it's just a matter of understanding between these two countries. Mm. So invite them, say Nigeria, we need your support. They mm -hmm. will come. They will come for you. Okay. So I don't see any query from Nigeria for this one. It's only that some Ghanaians, when it comes to asking for Nigeria's support, they don't do it, they don't want to show you. They feel that Nigeria will just collect us. No. Like you play Ghana issue. It's like we you actually say only Ghana, which is not nice. Welcome viewers to another edition right here on this channel, TJ Studios. Um, I'm glad to be here today. Um, this is a Zoom session, and um, you know, it's a live session between my brother, you know, a lovely brother, Nigerian brother in Ghana, you know, senior most brother in Ghana, Ambrose Onoesike. Am I right? Is it Onoesike? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, right. Welcome to TJ Studios. How is that feeling like? Oh. Good and lovely. We thank God. We thank Omros, you are situated in Ghana at Chimota Accra, right? Yeah. Okay. 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 That's nice. That's nice. Um, okay, so viewers, today we are looking at you know Afronitas British, you know, Britain got talent. All right. You know, Ghanaian dancer Afronita participated in Britain Got um or Britain Got Talent, and you know, it being a show. Ghanaians were yearning for Nigerians to support and then probably post her. It's like we are becoming so obsessed with, with owning who should support us. And I don't know if it should come naturally. I feel it should come naturally. But you see, the play Ghana affected all these. And some will also say, you know, we want it naturally. Ambrose, you are in Ghana. Tell us. Mm -hmm. a bit more about this Britain Got Talent whole thing where, you know, some Ghanaians, a section of Ghanaians are saying that, you know, she needed the support of Nigerians and then Africans as a whole. What is your take on this? Of course, she's right. They're right. They mm -hmm. needed Ghanaians, uh, Nigeria support because uh, we are one. And um, this beefy is actually disturbing the support. Mm -hmm. It's making us to actually uh, take a move aside each other, separating us far more greater heights. So we are not getting the love between two brothers or so Africa Union, a unity. Mm. It's really affecting us, honestly. Mm. It's really, really affecting. So okay. mm -hmm. if beef, 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 it should stop. Mm. Okay. It should stop. Okay. So um, do, we, do you think, you know, it should be a natural phenomenon was uh, where Nigerians are where, you know, do you think it, it, we, they, we, they, we should demand them of our support when they've been doing such for us and we are not reciprocating? Actually, Nigeria, they are open-minded people. If you tell Nigeria, please, I need your support, they will come. Mm. Actually, when you play their music, when you are hitting their music, they will always come. Mm. So I can't see any reason why Nigerians, once you call them, they will say, no, I will not do that. So it's just a matter of understanding between these two countries. Mm. So invite them, say, Nigeria, we need your support. They mm -hmm. will come. They will come for you. Okay. So I don't see any query from Nigeria for this one. It's only that some Ghanaians, when it comes to asking for Nigeria's support, they don't do it. They don't want to show you. They feel that Nigeria will just collect us. No. Like you play Ghana issue. It's like we you actually say only Ghana, which is not nice. We are one. We are one honestly. So okay. the beef should stop. Okay. You are in Ghana. You know how the ambience is like. You know how it is. It was not like that in the past. I don't know how many years you've been in no. Ghana. It was not like that so in I've the been, past. How many years have you been here? I've been over 15 years. Wow. Wow. So it means that you've been here for long. It's not do you think yeah. the influence of social media is calling for this? You in Ghana, do you see majority of Ghanaians, you know, still having that Ghana Niger bond? And a few people just doing, you know, this back back and forth on social media. The bloggers are not happy. Mm. They want to take advantage of this situation to get money. And it, which is not it, it shouldn't be like that. They should stop. Mm. There's there's a channel they can they can put up a better uh, better package 
the story should change. Trying to bring two things together, two countries together, it can earn more money. Instead of do, using those type of beef to earn money, they should go for the right way to earn money. Mm. After all, the two countries can support each other. When it comes to Afrobeat, they say the way most of the artists from Ghana goes to Nigeria to go and do more performance. So I believe the bloggers can also come together to push the agenda of oneness. You know, Africa, where are we? We are speaking of coming together, but we don't see anything like that. Nigeria guys have to start, share your narrative and move forward for peace, one love. That's what I see. It's not this type of uh, social media banter. Mm. We should stop. Mm. I have been saying on this channel that, you know, there is still love between Ghana and Nigeria per the citizens, mm. among the citizens, but on social media, like you said, the bloggers should be careful. Mm -hmm. Yes. How how are you faring in Ghana? You you be let's let's switch a bit. How are you faring in Ghana? How have you been received in Ghana as a Nigerian living in Ghana? Okay. The area I stay, it's not like the way we see it in your net that uh, burnt out the time. Yeah, it's cool. My environment is very cool. So nobody like that do such hatred to towards me. So I don't see any hate within my environment. Mm. They are all peaceful people, loving people. Mm. That's what I say. So the hate is basically on social media and some people yes. are using it for profit gains. Yes, yes. The people who entered joined the uh, social media network like using blog these bloggers, they want to get money. It's not about uh, what our peace. There's no peace in them. They lack peace. So these ones, they are just like, I want to use it for money. You see, there is something like this. We'll talk about data, bad data. They don't know that the, one, the ones they are doing today is like training the minds of Ghanaians and Nigerians so that the beef, the banter will continue. These are what we call machine learning. They are training the society on how to quarry. And you know, say Ghanaians and Nigeria will be one to suffer at the end of the day. That's what I see in it. Mm. They thought they are making money, but they are creating deep divisions. You see, and tomorrow we see both of them standing, Nigeria, Ghana, they will not fight, but on the social media they are fighting. What is it for? It's not because of the bloggers. They are the one creating hatred. So they should stop it. Okay. Before it will get out of hand. Mm, okay. Okay. Point point well noted. We it's just a brief, you know. We'll be doing this more often. You'll be joining the Zoom sessions. Other Nigerians will be yeah. joining. Other industry players will be joining. But before we go, Ambrose, how yes. how do we bridge the gap? In the past, when there was no social media, it was one loving country we could collaborate and do a lot. Now, anybody from anywhere or any other place, even industry players would, if they want to trend, we decide to jab Nigerians or Nigeria to get their trend. How do we go about this? Converting bad to good to, to make money is better off, not to just to bring division, banter. It will not help. Because once you are getting money in your pocket and you are making people to be divided, it doesn't make uh, it doesn't make any impact at all in society. It doesn't show love at all between us. So they should stop it. Mm. There are better ways to make money on the net. So they should stop that way of creating money by doing division, lies, comparison. I think uh, we prefer unity, not com to compare this to that. Mm. You see, the government will not help us. Mm. We rather help, we rather help ourselves. Mm. Yes. So if we can caution the bloggers who are carrying news about this country, that country, comparison, it's not, it's not like that at all. Mm. It's rather making, let's say, if you are coming from Nigeria and this uh, at the border, they know that you are in Nigeria, they will treat you kindly, unfairly, because of what is happening on the news, on the social media. Likewise, mm. in Nigeria's uh, area also. Mm. So they don't know that they are creating division and these things, it keeps on moving and they are taking it like a assimilated data of this social media. It's a training anyway, training of it. Training of division. It's not going to help. If you want to make money, make money in a straight way by bringing collaboration. Mm. 
Yeah. And that's what you see in the Afro beats. The Afro beats, we need more. But there are certain people who want to see that this battle continue. And it's dissolving Ghana. Ghana is supposed to be, be inviting Nigeria for their uh, uh, whatever, their music awards. Yeah. There's collaboration there. But we don't see because of division. Mm. And it's taking the industry down, making mm. it to look as if they are doing nothing. Yeah. So the solution is that they should take away those type of banter. Mm. And uh, if the music industry in Ghana can work for that very one, I believe this will go on very well. Then the movie industry also. Look at, uh, we have some uh, Ghanaians in Nigeria. Do you hear them quarreling? No. Don't quarry. Mm. Uh, so if, if you really want to grow your industry, this banter have to stop. The bloggers have to stop those nonsense. They should use a better way of collaboration to create their information. So other bloggers to say and join up. Okay. It's not. It's not. It's not good for Africa development. Honestly, mm. it's not mm. good. Honestly, mm. Mm. the other countries they are waiting for two uh, elephant fighting, mm. and when they are fighting, they have to wait until when the two of them settle before everybody will move on with their party. The we don't see those things in Africa. Yes, mm. we don't see those things in Africa. It's very bad. Mm. Very very bad. Honestly. Okay. It's, it's gradually affecting some of us who are put, pushing the Pan African, you know, yes. agenda. Yeah, you know. Pan Africa will stand if these two countries can take their banter out of their minds, mm. come together, one next, then we'll move the uh, uh, whatever, peace. Nobody will help us. Yeah. The more you continue this banter, yeah. the Pan African will wait until this banter goes off. Yeah. Honestly yeah. speaking. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Okay, so it's a convo with, you know, my senior brother, Ambrose Enuesike. We're doing this more often on our Zoom session, which I promised to get, you know, or to feed my viewers. Ambrose, before you go, let's do, you know, a similar, I wouldn't say comparison, but feature of both industries. Nigerians are thriving. Nigerians are doing most, you know, but when you come to Ghana, I don't know if you've observed the influx of fan base groups like sm you know sm fans shatawale's fans beam nation sac natives so automatically the competition has been an industry plant in ghana how, how do you address this the leaders of those factions should come together and close those uh whatever those names are really the followers it's not nice it's not nice even if if we if they want to form such division they should have love in their hearts. You should not have tr hate, hatred among themselves because it will not lead them anywhere. It will not lead them anywhere, honestly. So when you see that uh, Shatawale is trending, Sakodia fans that are supposed to join them, they will hold up. No, no, that is not our party, which is mm. not good. Mm. It's very bad. It's very bad. Collectively, we should grow together. So they should do collaboration and come to the table and let us sort all these things in so that we can move forward. This is 2024. 2025, if we still continue on this, so that means there's no sense in anything we are doing in Africa. There's no sense, honestly. Mm. We shouldn't be doing like cuts or whatever. Mm. We'll not move together. Divided it with four. Mm. I get it. Divided it with four. So it, does, it will not help. Yeah. It should stop it, honestly. Okay. Before you go, um, I can see you've settled in well in Ghana. I can see you are you are in your business field right now. Advertise your brand to people out there. Tell them tell them what you are doing. People in Ghana watching you in Ghana. Well, um, I think uh, there are a lot of youths in Ghana, and uh, when they talk about Afro beats, they should think there are a lot. Of I meant the work you really do come. before we sign okay, out. Okay, you mean the work you do advertising? Okay, 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 yes. okay. okay. Oh, I'm a freelance uh, software development uh, developer. Okay. That's what I do. So I do it for myself. I don't do it for people. Right. I want to create something that will make people to actually love software development, like machine learning and, and other stuff. IT, okay. yeah. Okay. That's what I do, yeah. Okay. So okay. those are my fields in Ghana. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so your final words to the industry, both industries, especially my country. Yeah, one uh, Ghana Ghana industry is like uh, they are still struggling, honestly, and uh, they should try. 
they need to try. They should not follow this banter. The banter is actually bringing them back. Uh, when you envy, when you you create hate, yeah. it means that you will sit at home. Instead of going to Nigeria, you will sit at home. Mm. So mix up with them. You can't tell me that Nigerian man is eating food. That the UA as a Ghanaian will come and eat dead. Nigerian man will stop you. He will not stop you. Yeah. That is where you become friends. Yeah. Both of you join together and move the uh, relationship further to a greater that's height. The other countries will come in and join together. So the fight between Ghana and Nigeria is affecting others. They are thinking of, oh, these people are doing this thing. Why? Why? It doesn't make sense. Honestly, it doesn't make sense. Mm. Mm. So it should stop. It should stop. It'd okay. be nice if they should stop. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Nice. This has been our first session with Ambrose and UCK. Ambrose will be joined by other yes. people, industry mm -hmm. players, to, you know, our Zoom session has started and we'll be doing part two, part three. A lot more. Yeah. We'll delving deep into the industry. My name is TJ White. This is TJ Studios. If this is your first time, subscribe to the channel and join the family. Let's push this Pan African agenda together. Okay. So, guys, yes, see you mm -hmm. Ambrose, have a nice day. You too. Thank you for having me in your station. You are welcome. I'm grateful. Thank, Thank you very you much. Sir. Okay, sir.